We're learning shocking new details about the murder of a 39-year-old mom on a cruise because she allegedly wouldn't stop laughing at her husband. Kenneth and Christy Manzanares were on a luxury cruise to Alaska on the Emerald Princess with their three teenage daughters when he allegedly flipped out. Passenger Charles Rowland said he heard loud screams coming from the family's stateroom two decks below his. Terrible screaming. I mean, just, you knew it wasn't normal. He said his wife looked over the balcony and saw Kenneth Manzanares trying to jump overboard. She thought he was going to jump over the rail. And at one time he put his hand on the rail and set his rear on it, but she started yelling, get back in. According to the FBI, a witness saw Manzanares grab his wife's body and drag her toward the balcony, apparently to throw her body overboard. The FBI says there was a struggle as the witness actually grabbed the dead woman by the ankles and yanked her from her husband, bringing her back into the cabin. When he appeared in court for arraignment, Kenneth Manzanares sobbed throughout the hearing. The dead woman's daughter was reportedly heard saying, I knew my dad would do this. I knew he would do this. Hi, I'm Christy Manzanares. Christy was a realtor and interior designer in St. George, Utah. Her husband had a succession of jobs, including selling insurance and a stint as a bail bondsman. Bad Boy Bail Bonds of Utah is a family owned and operated bail company serving the state of Utah. He also worked at a Utah Youth Crisis Center, says his friend Randy Chesley. How would you describe him? Just laid back. He just never seemed like anything bothered him. And we worked with some troubled youth that, I mean, they could get under your skin real easy and he just never flinched, never got faced by anything. They lived in this house with a pool in an affluent neighborhood. It's very safe here. Everyone's very friendly. It's weird to think that someone like that could live around here. Their three traumatized daughters have left the Emerald Princess and are reportedly staying with relatives in Utah.